This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Monday, November 16th, 2015. Euro dollar. So the euro is consolidating just off recent lows, though the overall downtrend remains firmly intact, and any rallies are seen very well capped into the 110 area, ahead of the next downside extension eventually back down towards the recent multi-year lows at 104.62 from back in March. At this point, only back above the 113 area would compromise the current bearish outlook. Sterling dollar. So cable's in the process of correcting, though the market is looking for the next lower top with the downtrend intact off that 2015 high, ahead of the next downside extension back towards and eventually below recent lows that were set in the one in the 150.27 area, and ahead of the next downside extension down towards the 2015 low at 145.66. At this point, only back above the 155.10 area would compromise the bearish outlook. Dollar yen. So dollar yen is stalled out by a key 78.6 Fib retracement off of the 2015 multi-year high to August low, and the market could be poised to roll back over in the sessions ahead, back down into the 120 area. At this point, only b back above the recent 78.6 Fib around the 123.70 area would compromise the potential for a fresh downside and open the door for a full retracement back towards 125.85. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss continues to consolidate, though overall the market remains within a recovery structure and is favored to trade to the upside back above recent highs at 110.50 and towards 112 further up. At this point, only back below 107.14 would compromise the constructive outlook for Euro Swiss. Aussie dollar. So Aussie is trading within a, lo a larger downtrend and the market should be very well capped once again into rallies with fresh downsides seen back towards and eventually below the recent multi-year lows just ahead of 69. At this point, only back above 73.82 would compromise the bearish outlook. Dollar CAD. So dollar CAD is highly constructive at this point, with the market now focused on a retest of the September peak, that 11-year high at 134.57. Further up, a break above could then expose medium-term upside towards the 140 area. At this point, any setback should be very well supported into the 130 area, while only back below 128 would compromise the constructive outlook for dollar CAD. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi looks to be putting in the fresh medium term lower top ahead of what should be the next downside extension back towards and eventually below the recent multi year lows ahead of 60 and potentially into the 50s further down. At this point, only back above 70 would compromise the bearish outlook. SPX 500. So signs of weakness in the S&P 500 after the market recently stalled out ahead of the 2137 record high and is poised now for deeper setbacks over the coming sessions, potentially back towards that August base at 1833. At this point, key support comes in around the 2000 psychological barrier with a break and close below to confirm the onset of uh, bearish, uh, bearish price action and confirm a potential lower top ahead of 2137. Gold. So gold is trading in oversold territory at this point on a daily chart, although the market has recently broken to a fresh multi-year low below that previous low from July that had been in place at 1077. At this point, there is risk for a bit of a short-term bounce despite the bearish price action, and if the market can hold up above the 1074 area, that we could see a more significant rebound in the sessions ahead back towards 1192. A close below 1074, however, would open the door for an acceleration of declines towards psychological barriers at 1000.